welcome back. Today we're going to look at a more advanced stoichiometric problem. We want to know how many atoms are in 6.23 grams of NaCl. So there's a few things we need to think about here. Remember that Avogadro's number is a unit conversion that goes in between moles and particles, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And in an earlier video, I told you that the true units for Avogadro's number are really just representative units. Representative units. Which means that if I were looking at a compound like NaCl, my unit would be particles because NaCl is not just made of one atom. But this question is asking me specifically how many atoms there are in this sample of 6.23 grams of NaCl. So not only do I need both of my unit conversions of one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles and one mole is equal to molar mass, I also need to know how many atoms are in this sample. And in this sample, one particle is equal to two atoms because I have an A and Cl. So I have two atoms in my one particle. So let's try this question together. I'm gonna to write down what I know. I know that I have 6.32 grams of NaCl and I want to know how many atoms there are. So the first thing that I have to do is convert into moles. That will always be the first step. Grams will go on the bottom one mole will go on the top because I want my grams to cancel out. I need to know how many grams are in one mole of NaCl. So I take the mass of sodium plus the mass of chlorine, which gives me a mass of 58.44. So that will go here. My next unit conversion is to use one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. I'm trying to get rid of the unit mole, so that goes on the bottom. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles goes on top. And I would be done, except that the question asks me how many atoms there are in that sample. So I know that in my one particle that I have, I have two atoms in that sample. And let's double check that all of our units cancel out and that we're left with what we need. I have grams on the top and the bottom, so those cancel. I have moles on the top and the bottom, and I have particles on the top and the bottom, and I'm left with a unit atom, which is exactly what I want. So in your calculator, you should put 6.32 divided by 58.44, multiply that by Avogadro's number, and then multiply that answer by 2. And you should get 1.30 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of NaCl. So just to refresh, we went from grams into atoms. We had to use our normal two unit conversions. One mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and one mole is equal to molar mass. We had to use this extra conversion because NaCl is not an atom, it is a particle. If you have any questions about this, please leave a comment. If you need help with any other concept, make sure and check out some other videos on my channel. Thank you for stopping by.